What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today, we got another Lord of the Rings collectible. This is by our good friends at Pure Arts. This is their Sauron art mask. It got number 38500. It's the exclusive. To be honest, I don't remember what the exclusive is, but I always get the exclusives. Pretty tall box, but it's not super like fat or deep, but it is tall, you know, because I know. The Sauron mask is not Sauron life-size. It's like human life-size, like if he was to wear it, for example. And I'll show you. I don't think I can wear it, but let's check this out. Uh, pretty excited to open this up. I remember when they first revealed it, it was pretty awesome. I've always wanted a, you know, like a big Sauron head, you know, and I never got the Infinity Bust because uh, it's $5,000, so much space. But I think this is the second best alternative. You know, I know there's a lot of like United Cutlery, Sauron you know, masks or helmets. And they look good, but I really like what Pure Arts did with the Baradur base. I think it looks really freaking cool. So let's go ahead and open this up. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, please use the links below. So it does help the channel, and let's get to it. Alrighty. So here is the art box. Looks nice. Before we put the styrofoam out here. It did come with some instructions. So it's a pretty simple piece to put together. Not uh, super difficult, which is nice. You know, four, four steps, really. They did use the Pure Arts straps, which is really nice. I think they do a good job in general with the packaging. You know, like they even put this on the straps to prevent the styrofoam from, you know, being smushed more or less, which I have seen happen multiple times, by the way. So I think it actually is quite smart of them to do that. Now I know Puritz has also done uh, Witch King and Mouth of Sauron, which both look excellent, by the way. Okay, so I believe the exclusive on this is going to be this, uh, like, art print. So check that out. So just put that down. So this does have some batteries. Um, we'll want to get this. Sauron mask out first. This looks good. Yeah, we're gonna wanna remove some of this styrofoam first, make it easier. Sits in here nice and tight. Obviously to prevent damage. So check that out, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, all right, so it can go down on the ground like that, basically. COA's right there. All right, let's get this face out. Oh, mama. God, this looks awesome. It's not a big, like, space hog base. I did used to own the Weta Badardur, if you guys are a follower of my channel, for a long time. We're just gonna get search for that. Let me get some batteries real well, real quickly. So hold on. Alrighty. So we got the batteries in. I like the way they did their battery compartment, by the way. It's super easy. It literally just check this out, just like boom. You know, it's like magnetized, which is really cool. So here is the base. There's a button back here that turns the light up on. So the lava lights up. There's four lights here, three here. And of course, the Eye of Sauron. 
So this base is not super big. Let me, yeah, this is about 12 inches. You know, pretty reasonably sized. So this right here, you can just display this as is. You need to display this separate if you wanted to. But of course, you know, this mask does go on. So the mask has a decent weight. Let's see. So I can wear it. <laughs> Uh, there is a hole at the to go ahead and hold this. So this, let's go ahead and get these instructions. Let's be sure I do it safely. Insert rod. Okay. I see. Basically like this. Just like that so it goes in here pretty good and then this just get that light back on it's basically gonna go in here and then that front metal piece is basically like holding it up so this is really kind of everything you get. Check that out. Let's dive in deeper. Let me get a look at this from the front angle. So, the idea is you can see the eye of Sauron through the eyeballs when you look at a different angle. And he's not covering too much of Badr-dur, you know, just really part of the tower. Then, of course, the eyes view at an angle. Light up is pretty cool, you know, like it's active. I like that lava effect, and it is even flowing down right here. Yeah, when I had the Weta one, it didn't have a light up at all. It was definitely bigger than this. Not like way bigger, but it was bigger. You know, the base was much bigger. Yeah, and so the light up button is just right here. So that's gonna be like the look when you don't have it on. Of course, it's cooler with the light up on. Pretty tall piece because how big this helmet is. It definitely looks really detailed and looks great. You know, it has this aged, weathered look right here, really all throughout the piece. Almost, you know, it kind of almost looks like rust. You know, and then there's, you know, like all this different, you know, like battle damage throughout, you know, scuff marks, scrapes. It's not perfect by any means. Whew. Very cool. This base is definitely extremely cool looking. You know, I love Bader Dur. It's such a cool looking, you know, tower. I wish we could have explored it more in Lord of the Rings. You know, I hope in Rings of Power they show, like, this being built and show inside the tower more. I think it'd be really cool. And I'm curious, did Sauron ever actually, like, live in this? Because I know that's the Eye of Sauron, but did he build this himself? Or is it done after the fact? Yeah, so in terms of space, uh, this is going to be a height space hog, not a width or depth space hog. You know, because it is quite a tall piece. And granted, it should be. I'm real curious to see how this looks next to the Prime 1 Sauron, because that's kind of like the idea and vision I've done. So let's go ahead and move it in there. Alrighty, YouTubers. So this is how the Sauron art mask looks next to Prime 1 Sauron. Now, I did actually boost it up a little bit. The reason for that, one, to make it slightly taller. Two, it allowed me to scoot it more to the right, because this really causes a space concern. And then I scooted the Prime 1 Sauron, you know, EX ring finger right here in front of it, which I think looks really awesome. The only thing I kind of wish is I had that battle mace, which is to scale with that, because that is not the size of the Sauron, you know, mace in for Sauron. It's a human sized version, meaning scales with that perfectly. So I kind of want to switch that or move it, you know, like imagine if it was right there and we switched that 
over there. And it kind of makes me think, you know, there's two routes I can take from here. You know, we can do Gandalf and Frodo there, or Morgulord and Nazgul. No, because eventually I, I want to move those down low. But I gotta say, this does look pretty freaking awesome. Now, there's definitely some differences between the two. You know, for one, Prime 1 doesn't have this, you know, almost like rusted look. You know, if you look at Prime 1, it's like pristine. Also, this one has like holes right here. Like you can literally see through that. Prime 1 is completely solid. It does not have that. The only holes are in the nose and the eyes, which this obviously has. Uh, this one definitely just has like more battle damage, you know, like these horns have more like scuff marks and almost chips. This has very little. You know what I mean? There is definitely some, but it's much more noticeable on this guy. Along with that rusted look and just looks like an old aged, you know... Sauron mask and then of course I think these bases match really good because one they both have the lava effect it's a shame this one doesn't light up uh, but the Baradur next to this I think these match really well especially having the finger in front like I did you know the color scheme is somewhat similar for the bases really freaking cool if I'm brutally honest so I can't remember the exact cost on this but I think it's like $900 if I remember correctly. Sometimes I buy stuff, I don't even know the price, but uh, yeah, I think it's like 900. You know, and I'm, I'm not sure what the United Cutlery price is. You know, I think theirs is quite pricey, but I would go with this one over that one. One, the Baradur base. Two, this looks like it's more displayable and it's gonna match that mace, which I feel like I gotta move that mace right there now. You know, if we do the mace there, then, you know, just this is like the whole Sauron display. And then, of course, his two, you know, most trusted minions, the Morgul Lord and Nazgul. I, I feel like that theme works really good for right here. You know, and then this will be the Trinity. Although, if I did do that, that means I wouldn't get the Gandalf with Balrog. I'd have to do normal Gandalf down there with Frodo. And then maybe even freaking Sean Bean. Boromir. Yeah, so when I'm standing at an angle, I can definitely see that light up in the eye, the Sauron eye. Pretty good. Let's turn off the main light. So you can see the light up. You know, facing forward, it kind of like lights the mask, but you can't see the eye. So it kind of just lights the mask, which does look cool as well, because there's like that light coming forward. And then you can see the base light pretty darn good. Which looks really cool. And then to the side is when you see that eye piercing through. And I think in general they did a really good job on that eye. Yeah, so I do have to, you know, more or less put my finger back here and find that button. Which, where are you? Alright, there you go. Yeah, so, yeah, in general, the eye looks pretty good. I do like it. I think they did a great job. You know, and of course, this is not lit up. See that lava effect? It's a little darker than the Prime 1 version. You know, but when it's lit up, it really has that lava effect. Looks really cool. Good job, Pure Arts. Love it. Yeah, definitely look really good with that mace behind it. You know, I feel like that's the one thing. Like, the mace looks cool over there, but it needs to be closer to Sauron. In order to make this work. One alternative as well. If I just scoot that to the left, you could do the mace and that over here. And then, I suppose you could just move that fellowship poster to the left. To go directly behind the trinity. But there it is, folks. Let me know what you guys think of the Pure Arts Sauron Art Mask. If you guys are looking to buy this or any of their other collectibles, please use the links below. And I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.